someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or a threat, fear. Or to simply put it, fear is the belief that God is not with you, you of little faith. You see, the interesting thing about fear is that even though it's like a shadow and accompanies you wherever you go, fear is a choice. Yeah, I said it, fear is a choice. It's a choice between saying yes in the face of opposition when you can't see the rationale or living with the regret of not trying and remaining crippled by the lies you're too busy buying. And without doing the math, we all know what the common choice is. Because we walk around like cats, like we have nine lives, believing we could be brave in the next life, but why are we never brave enough for today? We always say tomorrow and hope by tomorrow fear will be gone, but God tells us tomorrow isn't even promised and that's where we've all gone wrong. He wants us to be brave today, brave right now. See, the truth is the voice of fear will always be present in situations where there's an opportunity to be brave. See, even Peter, who walked with the Savior himself, almost said yes to bravery until the waves of fear began to wave at him and he was no longer sure if Jesus was with him anymore. So he sunk and fear won you of little faith. See, that's how it works. Bravery is simply an exchange, an exchange of fear for faith. And our faith in Jesus comes with the peace, an inner peace that defies all fears, a peace that confronts, not one that backs up or backs out, but a peace that comes with bravery, bravery to say peace, be still in the face of insecurities, in the face of opposition, in the face of the uncertainties of the deeper places and saying yes. Yes to standing at the shore, embracing yourself for the exceedingly and abundantly more that we ever so often pray for. And when it comes, going head first into the deepest of the unknowns. This is bravery, remembering that fear keeps us stuck, but grace whispers freedom. Fear shouts doubt, but grace sings peace. Fear taunts you are alone, but grace declares my name is Emmanuel, and I am always with you. And in the midst of all those fears, grace chants you are not crippled, you are not weak, you are not fearful, you are not intimidated, you are not nothing. Grace chants you are brave. Cause you